Hi guys, it's Mr. McFarlane here, and I'm gonna to talk to you about how we would like you to annotate while you are reading Lord of the Flies. So first of all, over the course of this year, we're going to be learning six different strategies for annotating a text. And annotating just means to mark up. Now we don't want you to actually write on your book. Uh, so what we want you to do uh, is to get some sticky notes or post-it notes uh, that you will then uh, write on and put in your book. Let us know if you need some and we can get you some, okay? Uh, but if you've got some around your house, uh, go ahead and use those. Uh, otherwise, let us know. Uh, but uh, these are the six skills that we're going to ask you to, uh, to work on throughout the course of this year. Visualize, summarize, clarify, connect, respond, and question. We're going to start with summarizing. So while you're reading Lord of the Flies, you're going to practice the skill of summarizing, which is a good way to keep track of your essential information while gaining control of lengthier passages. In other words, determining importance, stopping and reflecting about what's important here and writing it down. So a good summary will do three things. State what the paragraph is about, describe what the author is doing, and account for key terms or ideas. Okay. Um, now, uh, if you're reading a physical book, like I said, we're going to ask you to use sticky notes, and we want you to do that every few pages, uh, at least, uh, and at the end of chapters, uh, to briefly put in your own words what happened in that chunk of text, focusing on the most important events, okay? So a uh, good habit to get in is before you turn the page, or maybe like if you turn the page in the middle of a paragraph and you get to the end of that paragraph or the next page, stop and think, okay, what were the last couple of pages? What were the last few pages really about? What did I learn? Um, put a little summary there. Um, if you're using an ebook, uh, we're going to uh, have you use a website or an app called Kami, uh, and you can get to it on the website on your screen. We're also going to post instructions on how to do that separately from here. Um, you also need to annotate uh, for these three literary elements. So when you see these things happening, you should stop and make a note of it. Uh, the three things are characterization, conflict, and symbols. Characterization is when a author tells you about a character. So like, you know, Ralph is tall and fair. Okay, Jack has red hair, those sorts of things, or shows you what a character is like through their actions. Uh, and their words, okay? So Piggy is always saying, oh, but my auntie, oh, but my asthma, right? So Piggy's kind of whiny. Uh, Piggy's uh, physically not uh, as adept as some of the other boys. Um, conflict uh, is when you see characters uh, in some sort of uh, argument or fight with each other, or they don't like each other, or there's some disagreement. Uh, there's also conflict within yourself, like you feel uh, unsatisfied or conflicted about something. Uh, it can also be with nature, it can be against society, um, struggles, okay? Uh, and then symbols are objects that represent ideas. So an example of this would be like, you could say that Harry Potter's lightning scar represents his uniqueness, uh, or uh, an avatar, Katara's necklace, represents her connection to her family and her ancestors. Okay, so anytime you see one of those three things, uh, put it on a note, put it in your book. Uh, here's an example of an annotation that I made for you guys. This comes from um, The Hunger Games. So you can see uh, I put a sticky note commenting on a symbol uh, at the bottom of the first page there, which is the end of chapter five, uh, where she gets her uh, flame suit, right? And, um, and so my annotation says something about how, wow, is you know, they're talking a lot about fire. Fire seems to be a symbol for Katniss. Does that mean like she's going to like cause destruction? Um, and then uh, because it was the end of chapter five, you can see that I put a note about that, summarizing what was important in the chapter uh, at the top of the next page, because there was some space there. Um, so I said, what happened? She got made over. Uh, they made a big deal out of how dirty she was. This shows like the sort of the, the stereotypes or the discrimination against uh, people from, from District 12. And then it seemed like maybe she and PETA might actually become friends. So, um, so that's an example of a couple of sticky note annotations. Uh, just in summary, guys, uh, put a sticky note where you see characterization, conflict, and a symbol. Also summarize every few pages, summarize at the end of a chapter and enjoy the book.